today we are going to discuss about loci of points from the slider mechanism and this is the third problem this one is the single slider crank chain mechanism so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management so look at the animation of the single slider crank chain mechanism carefully so that you can understand the description of the problem here this one is the crank this is the connecting rod this one is called as the slider or piston now look at the description and try to understand with the help of this figure crank OA rotates about the crankshaft center O a link EB is joined to OA at A and the end B is constrained to slide along MN trace the path of the point P if the link AB is extended from A so it is like that if you extend this end A so that you will get the point P we want to draw the locus of this point P one more important point over here offset distance is given to you uh, this is the center of the rotation of the crank and this is the path of the slider and the distance between these two is called as the offset distance and this distance is given to you as 15 mm so in the previous two problems we have seen the single slider crank chain mechanism with offset distance 0 whereas in this problem it is given to you as a 15 mm and this one is the output of your problem the locus of the P point so here this locus only should be dark the remaining work should be light so now we are going to see how can you draw the same drawing with the instrument step by step so first see the animation of the single slider crank chain mechanism with offset distance now we are going to draw it so first of all draw the two horizontal line with offset distance is given to you as 15 mm then mark any one random point and give the name as O and here you can say this is the MN that means slider slides over here now draw the circle with crank radius is given to you here you can see crank OA is 20 mm so with the help of the compass you can draw the circle with 20 mm radius next draw one line which is 60 degree with this horizontal line and give the name as A so this is one of the position of the crank then take compass and set the radius as the length of the connecting rod so here the connecting rod is given to you as AB is equal to 100 mm so you can draw the arc and so that you can look at the point B now join AB and extend it because of here it is given to you AB is extended from A end and this extended distance is given to you AP is equal to 35 mm so here AB is equal to 100 mm you can see over here 100 mm and then extend it up to 35 mm that means 135 so you can mark over here P point at 135 mm distance and we want to draw the locus of this P point so now we are going to draw the locus of the P point so up to here we have discussed now divide the circle into the 12 equal parts with the help of the compass you can do it then set the compass as the length of the connecting rod and that is given to you as 100 mm 
so you can do the arc over here so this will be your b1 point then join b1 a1 and extend it like this you can understand up to b1 a1 it is 100 and extended length is 35 mm so you can locate the p1 point at 135 mm similarly you can do it first through the arc with center a2 and radius equal to 100 mm and then you will get b2 point over here join b2 a2 and extend it so you will get p2 point similarly you can draw b3 a3 on the same line you can locate the p3 then locate b4 join b4 a4 and on the same line you can locate p4 next b5 join it locate p5 point similarly you can locate p6 you can locate p7 you can locate p8 you can locate p9 then you can locate p10 and at last p11 now join all these points with this smooth curve in sequence so it is like this and so that this is called as the locus of the p point so keep in mind that in the examination this locus of p point only should be the dark and the remaining work should be light it is like this only the locus of the p point should be dark in the next video we will discuss the problems based on the four bar mechanism if you want to see more engineering videos then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video